Hey guys, welcome to Data Track, your one-stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will implement our own two-tower search query retrieval model from scratch. In recommendation system, retrieval model is used to retrieve the relevant items out of millions of items. And uh, in the last video, we went through this paper, which is dual augmented two tower model for online recommendation. It's a paper from Muten, which is a Chinese website. And they enhance the two tower model using two unique and interesting ideas, adaptive mimic mechanism and category alignment loss. We won't uh, implement the uh, architecture as it is in the paper, but we will implement a simple two tower model architecture. And in the paper, they had used their own mutant data set and as well as Amazon data set which is open source, we will use the Amazon data set. We'll look at that data set as well, what that is. And uh, so yeah, let's get started. Also, I will add the uh, link of the video where I have explained this paper in the description section. So let's get started and understand the uh, things that we will implement from scratch today. So two tower models, two tower models are deep learning architecture that are used for retrieval tasks such as search and recommendation. It consists of two separate towers. One is the uh, query tower and other is the item tower and the two tower model is successful for a variety of retrieval task in uh, uh, recommendation system so basically it's used for variety of recommendation tasks i will explain how the two towers can be generic it can represent any two items entities for example query tower and product for example in e-commerce you search for shoes you get the relevant shoes it it's uh, the first one where the first tower is, re is representing search query and the second tower is representing item or product or it can be query tower and document tower in case of Wikipedia you type for something you get the relevant documents so query tower document tower it can be query tower and person tower in case of uh, in case of LinkedIn where you search for some person you get the person so these are based on search right where your search word on the tower is search and other tower can be something else there are also recommendation uh, two tower model architecture where it's used for retrieval in uh, websites recommendation system where the two towers can be user and product that for these users which are the relevant product and it can be user and images videos as case of instagram the, for each user they have different type of personalized feed depending on their interest so first tower is user second is images or videos and also it can be user and user for example in linkedin or twitter for this user which other users to follow uh, or, or send friend request to right so that's why two tower model architecture are very popular it's based on neural network which learns embedding and these are very scalable where the two entities can represent um, anything and why companies use two tower model architecture at scale because it's a neural network based architecture which is which scales well well and it provides embeddings of the two entities right and even if for some other items if you have not trained it for looking at that item features it can generate a, generate a representation which is an embedding for it and the other reason is that once you the two models are trained for an item query kind of retrieval system i'm just giving an example true for all uh, types of two towers suppose you have item query time uh, type of retrieval system where one tower is query other tower is tower is item once you have the item embeddings and query embeddings the item embeddings can be calculated offline and stored in some key value store and as soon as the user types something query embedding can be generated online real time and from all the items embedding you can do a fast ann search and i have also i have videos on ann ano and uh, fires uh, i will add those also in the description section so the idea is that one of the towers can be kept offline and one of the towers can be online so it scales really well and uh, once we do the ann we will get the top candidates which can be passed to ranker for ranking so recommendation systems have two phases retrieval and ranking in retrieval the relevant items out of millions of items are retrieved and they are ranked in the ranker so we in this video we will be talking about the retrieval phase and the uh, the uh, data set we will use is it's a free open source data set from amazon where they have given some queries and which items came out of it for those queries and whether it was relevant or irrelevant i for irrelevant e for exact so the uh, data set i i would just show you the data set the reason is that you can use it for many of your on uh, interesting projects as well so this is the data set and they have provided four type of data points exact match substitute substitute means you were searching for nike shoes you got adidas shoes complement you wanted shoes you got socks uh, 
so these are the complementary items which goes well together irrelevant it was like something irrelevant for this video what we will do is uh, we will use only the two type of labels which is uh, exact match and irrelevant and also for query you have the product id relevant irrelevant and what are the product details product title product description product bullet point product brand product color product id this kind of product features are there and uh, suppose i ask you to develop a search query based uh, feature for my website what are the possible solution we, we, like what i want to uh, focus here is why is two tower model architecture needed why not something simple can be done so one simple uh, solution can be you can just get the query and uh, do a word match with all the items the even though the time complexity will be very high and two tower model architecture is highly scalable due to the fast approximate nearest neighbor search but is you can do that right word match can also be done that is one possibility or you can use some pre-trained embeddings you can convert query to embeddings using this pre-trained embeddings and item title description into uh, embeddings the pre-trained embeddings and then you can still do a approximate nearest neighbor search there as well so uh, those are some possible solutions but is just word match enough why i am saying that how much importance to be given to brand match versus description match versus color match for example, you the user type Nike form running shoes woman black. How much importance to be given to signal like brand which is Nike or terms like woman. Same is the case with color or form shoes. Suppose you typed uh, Nike form running shoes woman black. Should we show you Nike shoes first or form shoes which are not Nike but they are matching the remaining of your query. So what type of things do we want to show? And when we just do a word match, we don't have the control. But if we have the past data we know that for this type of queries this product converts well from past data what we can do is we can utilize both of the above solutions that is we can use the pre-trained embedding and also look at the buying pattern from uh, users from the past and fine tune these embeddings with signals like other signals also we can add right like category price rating reviews different users may have uh, different tendency towards price right so even we can have personalized signals so it can happen for this query for this set of users we want to show this product first and for other set of users for the same query we want to show other uh, items first because we have created a personalized model where we look at users price sensitivity and users past history towards brands and so on so in that way you can learn from past data and better these pre-trained embeddings and how is that possible that is possible through two tower model architecture and always we want embeddings because it can be used in fast retrieval using approximate nearest neighbor search so this is the two tower model architecture which companies usually use where you can see we have the embeddings title embedding description embedding bullet point embedding brand embedding color embedding and also some numerical features as i was talking about of the product which can be like what is the price rating uh, rating count review count all of this can be used and you can generate a condensed representation of it which this will and pass it through l2 normalization i have explained why l2 normalization as well in the past video where once you normalize the vector and then do a dot product it's representative of the cosine similarity and then you can do a cross entropy loss from the past conversion whether for this query this product converted well or not and in that way you can fine tune the embeddings to get a uh, better fine-tuned product embeddings and query embedding similarly for query you can use the query embedding convert the uh, query text into embedding and also some query features like what is the query length how popular this query has been in past and convert it into fine-tuned query embedding and which can be uh, if this was let's say we are using a lot of things this is this is 1000 2000 dimension but you can always have uh, sorted dimension of let's say 32 or 16 dimension for fast retrieval for a real-time scalable system so uh, this is an ideal architecture but what we will implement is uh, this one where we don't use the numerical features the reason in the amazon data set we don't have the numerical features if we had it would have been great but for now we will just uh, you implement this and this model will figure out how much importance to given to brand versus color versus title versus description and so on so it will figure out and fine tune the embeddings and here these are the small condensed fine tune embeddings that we will have as an output let's go to the practical session so now let's go through the code and i will add the link of these notebooks in the description section and uh, uh, i have also uh, taken the data set from amazon and 
taken a smaller sample size of it because I was training in a free uh, Kaggle notebook and I will highly, highly recommend that knowledge has democratized with these free resources like Kaggle and Collab and I will highly recommend you use these free resources. So let me take you through the data set creation and then training the two tower model architecture and both these notebooks I will add in the description section. So I will get, go very high level overview. First of all, what I have done, I have read the Amazon data set, uh, raw data set, and then uh, we will use sentence transformer to generate the query and product embeddings. The reason to use sentence transformer is that it manages the out of vocabulary words, like some kind of words that pre-trained sentence transformer would have never seen, but it will still break down it, it into subword uh, subwords and uh, find the embedding so it does this subword tokenization and employs subword embeddings as a fallback mechanism when encountering out of word words or token and it, it always represents 768 dimension embedding so output that you will get uh, of the sentence converted into embeddings will be 768 dimension so i have written a wrapper function reshape array which i wrote using chat gpt to uh, convert it into a smaller dimension what i am doing simple logic just keep on averaging the dimensions depending on the number of dimensions I want suppose I just want 768 by 2 I will take two dimension and make it one like take uh, some an average something like that so you can look at this reshape array which has been generated depending on the D user passes we will just reset the 768 dimension into a smaller D dimension vector just doing some averaging uh, okay so that's it and here you can see that I am taking a start dim start index and index depending on D and just doing a mean of it as I was saying so I have written this reshape array. Now coming to uh, next part, I've installed the sentence transformer and I have used distilled bird base uncased model. Uh, and just showing example, any sentences you give, it will convert it into an embedding, which will be of 768 dimension. Now what I have done, I have taken our data set and uh, I have generated a small sample size. I have generated 150K, but in this notebook, I have just showing you 2001, you can just uh, uncomment and uh, comment uncomment this one and comment this one to generate the size of data set as you want so we don't want uh, uh, a large uh, data set because we have a uh, limited compute uh, with one free gpu resource of kaggle so i just use a smaller version but you can use a little bigger version also so sample size is just to sample number of records from the uh, data set so next is uh, uh, this is the data set where you can see that uh, there is there are this product title as I was showing in the uh, presentation as well. These are the product features and then uh, what I have done I have converted all the title description bullet point brand color and query into lowercase and done something like in case it's none like done the edge cases covering and then uh, next thing I looked at the mean number of words in query, in title, in description, in bullet point, brand and color so that I know that how many words to take and convert it into embedding. So just a rough idea how the median word length looks like. And now I will con create embeddings of all the unique queries. So I have taken all the unique queries and I want 32 dimension like we know that 768 is the dimension of embeddings that we will get how can we condense it to 32 using the reshape array function so I've taken all the queries and converted into 32 dimension similarly I will do for products uh, in products there are like multiple features right 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 into 32 uh, those many uh, no sorry 6 into 5 not the product id 1 2 3 4 5 6 32 into 5 around 160 dimensions will get created i will concatenate all the embeddings 32 dimension uh, for title for description for bullet point for brand and color and get the final 160 dimension product embeddings as well so this is these are my product embeddings i have the raw pre-trained embeddings and i will fine tune it in the two tower model architecture what's next Next, I was just looking at the quality of uh, embedding generated and one more thing that I did was uh, I uh, generated some uh, data points as well like I have the exact label right where this query was and product was relevant but I also wanted some random product for a query and mark it as irrelevant so I have marked it as generated where I have generated data point you can ignore this step as well coming to the next part. What I did was I just wanted to check how the quality of this uh, embeddings is using approximate nearest neighbor. So I did first uh, uh, queries one that if I 
if 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 i if i take some queries and see which are the similar queries then you can see giant teddy bear costume kids night costume toy story barbie cos costume so these queries you can see these are very similar and coming out in the approximate nearest neighbor search as well let's see a uh, few more example Le uh, for example sketchers woman and running shoes man uh, so these are the like uh, similar queries which are coming up and similarly i did for product as well if i do a approximate nearest product search are similar products coming or not so net gear wi-fi range extender net gear night walk smart wi-fi router and again some net gear router and then bluetooth cow case system white and yeah nikon canon dslr canon dslr and uh, not sure what that is and this is also something video canon nikon sony camera tripod and so on so in this way uh, once we have generated the embedding we can just do an approximate nearest neighbor to see the quality of similar products coming for product and similar queries coming for queries just to just the um, quality of these embeddings and next is the second uh, notebook where we will actually implement the two tower model architecture that we discussed so here we will take the raw embeddings and fine tune it to uh, uh, with the conversion data to generate condensed conversion based fine tuned embeddings which can be used in real time retrieval of an scalable system so here what i will do i will just read the data set which is a 150k size in the previous uh, notebook you can change the sample size if you want different uh, data set size or you can use the original data set as well from amazon uh, it's up to you what you can uh, do is just simply copy and edit and fork this notebook you will get everything and you can change few things if you want and next what i have done i have uh, seen these are the query embeddings which are 32 dimension uh, it, let's see it should be 32 dimensions right it's 32 dimensions 0 to 31 and similarly there will be product embeddings which will be of 160 dimensions and then what we will do is uh, before training the model again we can uh, do an and search to see the similarity which i have already done there uh, so you can see that child proof cabinet locks child lock cabinet so before uh, running also we can do a um, an and search like we did there you can see ankle is talking for woman and pants for woman gluten free snacks gluten free lemon cookie so pre previous that also we can see do a see how queries are similar and how products are similar so here i have done a and n for products croc kits rain boots croc kits rain boot croc kits classic clog and uh, this is also rain boots this is also dolphin running shoes and so on so you can see that how products are similar before doing anything yeah next what i have done is i have uh, i have uh, i am looking at a data set that where the uh, query and product they were exact match so now we will see the quality of this data so you can see that these are small electric dyer and uh, general electric dyer this product came up when this query was searched and this this was an exact search so this is a relevant search similarly uh, if we see something else uh, let's say 85 inch 4k tv and 85 inch sony tv came up these are the relevant ones exact match and which are the irrelevant ones planner woodworking and something gun granulated powder came and matte paint uh, some fabric paint came and boys white dress top something irrelevant came so these are the irrelevant ones where most of them are from the data set some generated you can see generated is what that i had done using the uh, uh, random selection of products for some queries i just wanted some uh, generated random data as well as irrelevant so i had also generated few so that is the generated one and next is uh, we will just make the uh, two towers ready first tower these are the features query 31 embeddings and second tower these are the features 160 embeddings of product and all the brand color everything has been concatenated uh, next is let's look at what we want to this would have been ideal implementation but we don't have this rating price and also the numerical features for query and product tower so we will implement this thing so let's define our architecture uh, we are saying that the final condensed embedding should be of 16 dimension and uh, uh, we have we are gen now defining the architecture where we are uh, passing the input query tower features input product tower features and we want a dense layer where, where this is the condensed embedding and then we'll do a cross entropy loss uh, or dot product 
we'll do a normalization so you can see normalized product normalized query so we do the normalization you can see normalized query normalized product and then we do the dot product since we have normalized this is the cosine similarity and you can also visualize the network this is the not network input features for product input features for query we uh, use the dense layer to get condensed uh, representation of these embeddings and then normalize it and these normalized one are the final embeddings and when then we do a dot product and now we can train the model and during the training we have also used uh, model checkpoint so so we want to continuously check that uh, where the validation data accuracy improves and that model will be the best model and if it's overfit we don't want to use that model so they have, we have used this model checkpoints and binary cross entropy is the loss function and we will train it so now the training starts and how the training is happening the exact ones should be uh, treated as label one they are the exact uh, matches and irrelevant should be trained as zero so in this way the embedding should be fine-tuned that for queries with relevant products should be uh, coming out as one in our uh, uh, model and uh, for the irrelevant queries uh, and product match it should come out as zero and that is how we will fine tune the model using binary class classification problem and post the training uh, this is how the training goes on and uh, then we will load the model the best model and then uh, for all the products we want the product embedding right so uh, we we want the output of this normalized product that is where the uh, embeddings are so we will take we'll we'll chop off the two layers so that's the beauty we have the two towers and they are connected with cross entropy we can chop off to just get the embeddings in online inference so we are chopping off just taking the normalized product and getting the embeddings of all the products here so these are the new embeddings of all the products and you, you will be able to see it will be of 16 dimensions only so that is also a beauty right from 128 dimension we have condensed all the information fine-tuned on conversion and got 16 dimensional product embedding Similarly, uh, uh, for the queries as well. So, so what I have done post uh, this, I have the 16 dimensional embedding. I am again doing a cross in uh, this a approximate nearest neighbor to see are the is the goodness preserved. You can see clock kits, clock kits, uh, uh, boots, and similarly uh, rubber kits, rain boots. Here also some. Uh, things have come up so I am just checking that whether goodness is preserved after the uh, condenser condensing it to 16 dimension and learning the embedding similarly uh, for the query tower as well we will we will uh, will chop off the normalized query layer and generate the query embedding so these are the query embeddings and then we can do approximate nearest neighbor you can see child cabinet locks child locks and gluten-free snacks uh, some crackers cookie and so on so so the goodness seems to be preserved and next what we want to do the exact thing so what i did i you i used chat gp to, to generate some queries now this you can think as a user coming to the platform and typing some random queries i've used chat gpt to type some random queries and item representation we will use the item embeddings that were fine-tuned and which are 16 dimension to find that out of for these queries which are the relevant items so let's see and you can let me take you through the queries as well red dress for wedding best laptop nike running shoes iphone 13 men right winter jacket on sale these are just randomly generated so i asked it ran, generate some random queries for an e-commerce website and now let's see the output we do an approximate nearest neighbor we will first convert it into uh, sentence transformer we will get the raw embeddings pass it through the uh, query tower and take the normalized query layers output which is 16 dimension uh, query so you can see that the original one is uh, 32 dimension and then we will pass it through the normalized query and then we will get the 16 dimensional uh, query representation see 16 dimensional because that is we are passing through the online inferencing and finally let's do a product match so red dress for wedding bride wedding something bride wedding has come some wedding belt has come and and similarly we can see for the other products as well let's say nike running shoes for women nike women running shoe nike women's free running shoes black so very relevant results have come up for some random queries 
and similarly if we see let's say uh, uh, top rated kitchen appliances dual uh, gauge premium water pressure gauge and some other treatment things like maybe some kitchen items have come up and fitness tracker you can see fitbit inspire fitness breaker fitbit inspire and so on so yeah that's mostly it and you can also see charger for a smartphone wireless charger replacement charging dock and so on so that's it and what's the conclusion is that one can create we cre we trained it on a 150k data set size right one can create even bigger data set to fine tune embeddings for more accurate results in real business production use case more numerical features of the two towers can be used numerical features like product price and uh, product reviews ratings and similarly for query query length popularity of query and so many numerical features of the two towers are also used we didn't use it because we didn't, didn't have it we only had the color, color and all the description features and I would encourage like in the last video we went through one of the paper which had enhanced the two tower using adaptive mimic mechanism and category alignment loss. One can uh, pick this as a project and upgrade the architecture using some of these uh, techniques or, or read some other interesting paper ideas to better this uh, architecture and better the accuracy. So that's it in this video. Uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates. Bye.